Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Moffitt. Today I'd like to talk to you real quick about a tool that Google has. It's called uh, uh, My Places. You can use it to make your own maps and add information and text and video and photographs. And probably the most important thing about it is you can send it to other people and they can um, add information to it. You can collaborate with other people and sort of leverage everybody's information to create something that's a lot more useful. Um, I think this is really a, a, a fascinating item you can use for so many different things it's pretty much unlimited by only your imagination what you can use it for. Um, I'm, I'll show you real quick how I'm, I'm making one today on some uh, boat ramps here in uh, South Florida. To start you want to go to uh, Google then go to Maps and once you go to Maps you'll see something called My Places and you can create a map. I've already created one. We'll open it up. Down here it says Broward County Boat Ramps. And what you're going to be doing is adding icons or you can add routes or you can make shapes. And these are place marks I've already added and this is a, a, a route I've made. Um, let's add a new icon. We'll go to the Cherry Creek area for uh, put a new icon for a boat ramp. Okay, here's Oakland Park Boulevard. We're going to turn down on 12th and come right down here to the boat ramp. This is the Cherry Creek ramp. And to, um, we'll click on edit right here. And look at these three boxes open up. This middle one is going to allow you to add a place mark. So we're going to add a place mark right here. And we're going to change that to make something different. So click here. I've already added, you can add any of these icons. I've already saved the one I like. I'm going to use this still a sailboat as a indicator for, for boat ramps. Up here, you can enter name. Let's see, Cherry. You can enter text here. If you want to enter a video or a, um, a photograph, you would click rich text and enter the video Let's go to YouTube real quick. Um, this is a, a, a video I made earlier a couple years ago of a, uh, the Everglades Holiday Park and I've already added at the location of a boat ramp on the map. But if you want to enter a video from YouTube you would go up here to where it says embed right here. Well, I've already embedded it but you'd copy this information right here in blue and go back to your map you would plug it in here and click OK and save. Now when you go to the Cherry Creek ramp we have this link. Now this link is not going to be the one we want that's going to be to the <laughs> the, the area at uh, the Everglades Park but we just happened to I wanted to show you how to put a video in so if you would click on this link the um, the YouTube video should pop up. There you go. You just went to your YouTube video. So that's how you enter your information. You can do the same thing with photographs and text. And the interesting and most important part to me is when you go up here to collaborate, you can enter right here the email of different people to send to. And when they get the information, they can add their information to the maps and add comments or they can add place marks for the, for, uh, for on their own. You can also uh, manage it by uh, allowing anyone to edit the map or just uh, collaborators and, and you can let the collaborators also invite others with this area to also. So when, when you do get different people collaborating you have the list of them here. So you can remove them if they're not uh, adding stuff <laughs> to your maps <laughs> that, that they should be adding. So I think this is a very handy tool and it's something a lot of people don't know about and something you can use to to leverage information and you don't have to just add place marks also you can close this you can add shapes you can add routes um, if you go here this one is a legacy park route I made a quick route on the canal to show how to get from the the small canal to the main C14 canal um, and you do that by just making marks in between marks you'll get a line like that
and if you double click you can edit it in this case we want to delete it it's just something we made it as an experiment you can also add shapes uh, it's something I, I left out you, if you draw a shape you can just make your outline with your icon and then it's highlighted add your information just like you do on all the other um, shapes so I hope you find this information useful if you like my videos I hope you come back and subscribe I add more videos every week and I look forward to having you come back and watch my videos